Every time I start a new painting, especially if it's a large one, I start putting all the paints I use in a separate box so that when I need to go back to them, I know exactly what colors I need. And a large painting like this Jai Mandala needs a lot of little cleanups. When I say clean up, what I'm talking about is going in and fixing a little bit of the paint that's in the background that has a little smear of my textured paint or just that the color doesn't seem quite right. And so here is what I do. I take one of my small brushes and go for the color of the paint that I originally used and clean up little smears here and there. It is an example of a little smear that I was talking about earlier. I work in a studio where there are two dogs and two birds and sometimes a sudden noise from them kind of leads to these kind of things that need a little attention later on. I know not everybody pays attention to these little details, but to me, having my painting finished as perfect as possible is part of my process. Does this mean I get all of these things? No, I don't. Sometimes I catch them in the varnishing stage, but more than likely, there's quite a bit of these left in a painting when it's going to a new home. Here is a tiny piece of hair from Cookie that needs to come off if I can pull it off. Looks like that's going to stay in there. Oh, it came out last round. The last part is where I look at where any of my textures could use a little touch up. I think Chai Mandala is ready for its varnish at this stage.